What we're about to learn with bubbles applies across all styles of debate, which is one of the reasons that we're all learning it together. I have used it in policy, fact, and value regularly. Just because we use it with one example doesn't mean that's the only one that it applies to. Let's get some, my question, what are some of the value clashes that you saw that could have become of that debate had we had that debate? I wrote down one, which is a society for, that we, well, this is, you shouldn't be forgotten. So we'll call it the library, um, knowledge, information, there, information equals learning or something like that. We'll just say the value is information. On the other side, we have the value of some sort of form of forgiveness, that you have the ability to have a second chance. That's going to be the counter value. This could be a debate, because the other team could very easily say, I mean, stuff is on the internet, keep your I mean, job 25 years later. Or somebody could have hacked your Facebook and posted something that is now in your name and you can't get it undone. 25 years later, should have the right to have a second chance. That's, a, that's, that's all on this side of the debate. So there's a clear clash here. What are some other value clashes that were possible? I heard definitely several from the coaches, but I saw some people up front were, were giving me pointers that they came up with. What would be both sides of, one, of a value debate? And what does it contrast with? So I'm going to put that under this same value debate, because it seems like it's using the same words. OK, what's another one? That's what I want. You give me some other one. And on op, shoot, I have this backwards. I'm so sorry. This is op, because we were prepping op versus gov. So we're teasing out the debate. It would be privilege. This should be a privilege. Yes. OK, privileges versus rights. Fine. What are some other ones in the room, some possible value debates we could have had? Edwin, Wayne, privacy. what? Free speech versus privacy. So privacy is over here on the gov side and free speech over here. Going back to what I said earlier, very interesting because you could define this as Fourth Amendment, First Amendment, or you could define this as the substance of free speech as a thing versus privacy as a thing, which would be a far better debate. Good. Okay, so on the op, we value um, only authority that has been given from the people. Good, thank you. Only contractual rights versus the concept from the negative that multinational corporations can somehow represent. or administer rights. Woo -hoo -hoo. Scary. Do you have one? No. no. Blood from fingertips. Yes. Yeah, accountability is over here. You are accountable for what you do. Tough. Especially if you're an INTJ. <laughs> Me too. I know. Um, Apparently, INTJ, so like if you go to Reddit, where there, there are some 7,000, 8,000 commenters that are INTJs and some like 53 that are ESFJs, INTJs own the internet. Very interesting. Okay. These are a bunch of really cool debates that could happen. Do you guys see how the debates could happen? The debates don't have to happen. So let's go back to what we said with the argument map. Value versus policy versus fact debate. We're not talking about the skills of value debate. The resolution is not a value resolution. 
but we could use the skills of value debate of comparison of two things in the abstract to help us debate this resolution. We're going to use facts, and we're going to talk about policies. That's what we do. So let's go to bubbles. This is where we try to understand all of the options you have strategically. So this is kind of strategy 101 for all of debate. And if you miss out on a big picture bubble idea, then you're going to be harming yourself. So, I don't know. Let's pick accountability versus privacy. Here we say accountability is the value. Then, what's the second part of any weighing mechanism, value debaters, after the value? Criteria. What leads to the, the value of accountability? Partly, you might have one, two, three, I don't know. Based on our op case, what is a likely criteria or a set of criteria or a criterion for accountability? Okay. Info access. That's one. I think there's another one, which is info storage. How else do we uh, maintain accountability? Info integrity. Your relative assurance that information you look at today will be the same information tomorrow. I'm actually going to build this slightly differently because I think we see a common word in all three of these. That common word is probably the best expression of the criteria. These are going to be the contentions. Information leads to accountability, our value. Are you all with me? Any questions from policy debaters about how value theory works? It's not that complicated. Yeah. Wait, so the value is like you have a core value and yeah. you present like a theoretical, a specific example of the core value which proves the main value true? That's correct. Because we're not talking about every sense of accountability, right? So accountability is this big, good assumption we agree with, like rights. For this topic, how do we access accountability? There's something that's specific to the topic. That's typically the criteria. Exactly. Um, do you, when you're attacking somebody else's value, do you typically say you don't uphold your value? Or that is the subject of this talk. So you are right on to my next thing. Um, before I go to that, any other questions? I like it when people lead me where I'm going. OK. So we're the other team. We are on the ought to be a civil rights side now. So let's flip our mindsets. We're a government. Let's assume that from the very beginning, we might have had a value. That value is privacy. What's our probable criteria? Criterion. Criterion. What is our probable criterion? Because we're not saying privacy in every sense of the word. Uh, maybe second chances? I think that's going to end up being a contention. The VeggieTales song is going through my head. Anonymity. That's at least one part of the criteria. I will, I will grant you that. Ability to be anonymous. What contention is going to link to that? The cookies one. You just went and accessed information. And now Google and the NSA all know what you do all the time. 
when you're not posting anything, you're not doing anything libelous, you just happened to end up at aljazeera.com because that's where Google News put you. So this will be the internet cookies contention. Some of my debaters actually flow like this instead of linearly. Yeah, they debate this way. Um, only a couple. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, so that, that's why I kind of feel like that's one. Yeah, it's bigger. Right. 